Greetings, friends of friends. If you're looking for some magical items to spice up your D&D campaign or any other RPG campaign, stick around. I got five for you today on Fun and Stellar's TV. That's what it's called now, apparently. Pew. <laughs> All right, let's start off with something a little bit different. Um, you know, this might not be something that's uh, super powerful or super crazy, but it is an item. That way you can't say that you don't give your players loot. So this is actually, I call this one the, uh, the Daily Bread Basket. Now, essentially, all it does is every morning inside the basket, you find two freshly baked loaves of bread. I mean, hell, if your adventurers are going on a long hike into a cave system, or if they're traveling a lot, they forgot to pack rations, they might be pretty grateful to have something like that. I don't know. Maybe your party likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe they keep the bread and wait till it gets really, really stale and hard, and they use it as a, as a projectile. You know, I'm sure you can get creative with it. I don't know. Anyway, that's one thing. Just something that I found. All right, get off me. All right, number two. This one's pretty interesting. You could probably find this in like a, a magician's lair or a wizard's lair. A magician. <laughs> Not called those anymore, are they? Um, you know, or, or any other crazy place. I mean, you can get creative with that, as I like to say. Uh, this one, I'll just call it a monocle of magic. That's right, a monocle. Yeah, Mr. Moneybags. You know, and all it does, it's kind of like detect magic where um, if you're looking at any magical items through, or any items through the lens of the monocle, um, anything that has any sort of magical power to it will glow in a bright white radiant light. So it's kind of a way to save yourself from spending slots or save your players from spending a spell slot on detect magic. When detect magic seems like such an arbitrary thing to do anymore, why would you want to waste a spell? The monocle might be pretty handy for those spell conscious wizards. All right, this next one could be pretty useful for, for swordsmen or barbarians or anybody who's very clumsy, maybe thieves even. Uh, these are just simple white gloves. Um, I gotta look what I call them. I have it on my computer. They're called possessive gloves. I knew that. They're called possessive gloves. So they're white gloves, and what they do is, um, if, you're, if you have the gloves on your hands and you're holding on to anything, um, they can't, whatever's in your hands can't be ripped from your hands. So let's just say that you're holding a blade and someone's trying to disarm you. So they're gonna have to cut off your arm to take that weapon because as long as you're holding onto it they can't literally pull the sword away from your hands that also goes for thieves who maybe might have stolen something and maybe you might not be strong maybe a little halfling is you know trying to rip something away from a giant person a goliath that's what they're called anyway i'm sure that you can find something to do with them listen i'm just giving you stuff i don't have to tell you what to do with them all the time get off me said that already all right, this next one, ladies and gentlemen, is called the Vampiric Amulet. And it's just like a, a ruby red amulet that somebody can wear on their neck, or like dangles about to here on your chesticles. And um, essentially what it does is it drinks blood from the user's weapon. So let's just say that, um, you know, Joe Schmo Halfling, I use those a lot, um, slashes somebody with his, his rapier. And, um, you know, if he rolls a critical hit, then the amulet will heal the user, the Halfling, for the damage that he did on the critical hit. So that's pretty cool. If you think that's too powerful for your players to have, you could always give them like a, I don't know, a D4 or a D6 plus some sort of modifier to amplify what they're getting. You know, you're the DM, you decide. But hey, that's a pretty cool find, don't you think? All right, and lastly, I have the Gem of Greed. And it's just like a cloudy pink gem that somebody can have, they can hold in their hand or, or whatever. I say it's about the size of a fist. It's relatively big, you know, maybe a little bit smaller than that. And it just glows uh, a little hue of pinkish light whenever somebody is within the proximity of money. So if you got a thief, that might be good. Rogue, also good. Maybe you're investigating stolen money and your players use that. Again, I don't know. You figure out how you're gonna use these. I'm sure in the right hands, players can become very annoying or unstoppable or you know, maybe give you some fun stories to tell. So you go ahead and you just encourage them to use their imagination and get creative and, and just leave me out of all of your squabbles, okay? I'm just trying to help you. Why are we fighting? And there you go. Five as promised. Nice and easy, simple, magical items. They're not super OP, although in the right hands they could be. And that's up to you to reel in and do it. I left them relatively general. That way you can make your own decisions about maybe how much health something does or maybe how many uses it can have. You know, that way you have some flexibility. I don't want you to feel that's what I'm looking for. Not corn hold. That's not it. Uh, pigeon hold. In. <laughs> oh man, I should probably end this video before I start saying other weird, obscure, bad things. Anyway, thank you so much for checking this out. It certainly means a lot to me as I'm trying to grow this channel. So thank you for those of you who've been along the ride with me. And if you enjoyed that, please let me know. Um, you know, have you guys thought of any 
you know, magical items yourselves that you have used or maybe that you would like to use in your own campaigns or to convince your DMs to use, please let me know. I mean, I'm always looking for suggestions for my own games. Uh, I'm about to run a game of Dungeon World actually pretty soon, so maybe I'll have some videos on that pretty soon. And if you like all that stuff, please tell people about it, because I'd like for this to be something I could do full-time someday. But anyway, thank you so much if you're still watching from here. You guys are great, and I will see you sometime in the very near future, hopefully, probably, at some point.